No, not the tree. No, not the tree. Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Anthony. I got the jackhammer back out here for another run. This is kind of like a redemption bash from my last session. I don't know if you guys remember what happened to this truck on my last bash. It completely took a nose dive. Oh, he died again. No. Yeah, no. Yeah, due to some electrical issues. Um, so hopefully we don't run into this type of issue again out here today. But uh, I did give additional update on the truck after that bash when I got home and got it cleaned up and stuff so, so I got it all sorted out and it's back in action again M2C uh, fan mounts for the Castle ESC as you can see this thing has a carbon fiber plate on top of the ESC and I have a aftermarket a 40 millimeter 8.4 volt fan on top of it. it has two standoffs in the front just to keep this thing level and at the bottom here, I don't know if you can see this, but at the bottom here has some spacers in every screws just to give you a little bit more dampening for impact. So I think that's going to give you a little bit of nice cushion there. Um, so that's super cool design. This thing is nice and solid in here. So we're going to give this a quick quick test out here and see how that thing's going to hold up. And the, and the other thing that I'm testing out here that I'm really excited about is this new M2C Hex adapter right here, specifically for this Pro Line. MX38 HP belted tires. You guys don't know that this tires comes with a removable hex. So M2C made their own aluminum version of that. But this thing is so beefy. I'll put some pictures on the screen. Super nicely designed. It looks pretty awesome as well, as you can see. So the coolest thing about this is this audio ring right here that you can actually install and attaches and bolt it right into the hex on the other side, making it even strong and rigid. Uh, pretty much sandwiches the plastic in there, which is pretty awesome design. I also want to point out that this Hex adapter actually gives you a little bit more offset than the stock ones. I just want to say guys, that thing looks awesome right there, especially with that M2C lug nuts that I have in there as well. It just looks pretty cool. So, alright, enough talking. Let's give this a quick bash out here. Let's see how she does and uh, let's have a good time out here. That's a jackhammer, guys. Woo. Oh my god. Man, it's pretty windy out here. It's kind of pushing the car on that side for some reason. Woo. No, not the tree. No, not the tree. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Oh, I thought it's gonna hit the tree again. 
LVC. Oh, I still want to keep going. But that's it. <sighs> Looks like she did pretty good out here. Let's take a look at the inside. I'm not sure if I mentioned before that I did swap back to the stock battery tray servo combo here. Um, I don't have any issue with it, but I still think that the armor battery tray is better than this, in my opinion. It holds your battery a lot better. And also the fact that you can use a standalone servo mount is actually a lot better compared to this but I haven't had any issue with it so I'm gonna continue to run with it um, until it gives me an issue but the car seems to be in one piece chassis looks pretty good nice and straight a big shout out to NTC Racing suspension is pretty good I cannot say enough good things about this truck man jackhammer is just one awesome kit from m2c racing they did an awesome job with it the longer chassis is obviously going to give you a lot more stability a lot more planted especially on high speed yeah. i am also loving this new removable hex that m2c came out with with the outer ring design as you can see right there it just keep everything locked in uh, specifically for these tires so yeah the jackhammer did awesome out here Again, I can't see enough good things about this truck. Big shout out to MTC Racing again. Mitch and Avery, they did an amazing, amazing job with this kit. Uh, so we'll get this thing home, get it cleaned up, and bring this sucker out here again soon. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you in the next one.